we're going to be doing a charity stream on January 31st. Uh, it is a Sunday. It is going to start around noon. Uh, and by around, I mean at noon. But like, your girl might be like five minutes late. I'm sorry. Because uh, life happens. Um, and we're going to be streaming for 10 hours playing Celeste. I will not, at this point in time, tell anyone the uh, story of Celeste. Uh, I, know, I, know, I know the... Is allegory the right word? I know what it represents. I know what the I know what the game represents, um, and I I know some stuff from what the creator has said about the characters in Celeste, the theme theme. Uh, but I do not want to to fully address any of that because I don't want to spoil anyone who wants to come to the stream and like totally be surprised. Um, but thematically, with the game, we are going to be raising money for uh, the transgender law center, and it is. Something that's always been on my list, I have, I have a list of causes that I want to raise money for uh, through streaming. And the transgender community is something that I, I hope that in my actions I am a true ally for. I think it is horrible that people have to live their lives uh, hiding themselves and not being their true authentic selves. Uh, and if I can help in any little way, I want to. Uh, so on January 31st, we're going to be raising money for the Transgender Law Center on stream here starting at noon. Uh, so the goal will be throughout the day. People can donate. I think I have like something like if you donate $10, I think I put a tattoo on my, like a temporary tattoo on my body somewhere, something along those lines. Those kind of crazy little things that are going to take away from the game. I'm trying to beat Celeste in 10 hours <laughs> with me, with my terrible, terrible uh, ability to play platformers. Uh, and different things like that. There's like, uh, I have to do, I think I'm going to go do like ghost chips and, and wear oven mitts while playing with the controller. So it's a little bit more difficult to play, uh, and different things like that, that I hope will incentivize you guys, uh, to donate to a wonderful cause. Uh, because statistically speaking, the transgender community goes through a lot and it is atrocious and it is so upsetting Especially when you hear the numbers, I think I pulled up some earlier today because I was genuinely just curious if there was anything that had changed. Now, this was studies back in 2013. And while that is a while ago, it is still true. Um, that w This was mind-boggling to me. So to the general population, now this was through GLAD, through the GLAD Foundation, for the general population, attempted suicide rates are at 1.6%. For the trans community that took the survey, granted, took the survey specifically, their attempted suicide rate was 41%. Yeah, dang. Dang is right. It's insanity. Trans people experience unemployment at twice the rate of the general population. Now, rates for trans people of color is four times the national unemployment rate, which is mind-blowing. The amount of poverty that these people face, homelessness that these people face, it is not okay. And I want to do anything that I can to help. And I hope you guys will join me.